information I seek. We simply need to extract it from her. I'll take her with me to the keep. Dispose of the rest as you wish, but do not tarry long. No, please. Don't hurt them. You only need me. yourselves Marama. Stay your hand, stranger. This sea elf saved our lives. I told the fool knights outside I wasn't their enemy. Do you have more sense than them? You're willing to talk. At least you're smarter than those knights outside. I suppose Sea Lord Narlos and his scum have taught the people of this island to fear anyone with blue skin. Understand this. I don't answer to that foul beast. Captain Siravane of the Gilded Blades. You'd call me a pirate, I suppose. But I'm not one of Sea Lord Nalos's traitors, and I'm not involved in all this druid foolishness. You look confused. Must be from the continent. Yes, I'm a marmer. Well, they're not captives anymore, and you and I need not be enemies. Sea Lord Nalos is my quarry, for reasons of my own. But I'll tell you this much, mercenary. Nalos seeks some sort of druid relic, calls it a sacred seed. I'm not sure. That slimy eel escaped and he took one of the druids with him. Probably thinks she can take him to that seed. No matter. I'll find him. Warn your allies about the Sea Lord, mercenary. Galen isn't safe while he lives.
The sea elf escaped. Too bad. At least we can get these druids to safety. We'll handle things from here. Return to Vastir and report to Sir Stefan when you're ready. I'll see these druids back to their village. You should return to Vastir and report to Sir Stefan. He needs to know what happened here. He should be back in Castle Mornard by now. You'll find him there. Pirates become more brazen every day. When is House Mornard going to do something? You know, House Dufort never has these problems on High Isle. That's not entirely true. I used to apprentice there this time. Your people are in as much danger as everyone else, Galfin. Sea Elves make no distinctions when it comes to staging raids. I didn't say we weren't dangerous. Ah, here's our mate now. Well met, friend. Duluth tells me you handled yourself well at Windrack Fort. Now, what news of the other two locations? Laurel seemed troubled when she returned, but... She went to find Archdruid Raval before I could speak to her. A good thing I sent you to Tuin, then. The Elder Tide rarely need or want our help, but I'm glad we could provide it. Still, why would the Dread Sails take prisoners to the Cove? When Sea Elves take captives, they usually sail off and demand ransom. The Dread Sails are working with a Druid of the Firesong Circle? The Firesong usually have nothing to do with outsiders, let alone Sea Elf pirates. And now I understand why Laurel seemed so worried, and why the Dreyfa has been summoned. What madness! A war among the Circles is the last thing Galen needs right now. I've been invited to observe the Dreyfa. I'd like you to tag along. Find Laurel in the Vine District here in the city. If she agrees, you can join us. The Vine District lies on the east side of the city near the harbor. It's a small druid conclave. I'll join you there shortly. I need to confer with my father and send scouts to search for Sea Lord Nalos while we attend the Dreyfa. I may be the son of Count Mornard, but I studied for years with the Stone Lore Circle. I hold druid beliefs in high regard. In fact, I share many of them, which is unusual for those not dedicated to their ranks. In return, the druids trust me. Like most nobles, my father pays little attention to the druids. When he must speak with the circles, he summons emissaries to Vastir. The Dreyfa is a meeting of druid leaders. Outsiders are rarely permitted, but they consider me almost a druid. Ugh. 
The Elder Tide Circle has no love of outsiders. If they had their way, we'd get back into our ships and return to High Rock. The Circle here on Galen is more forgiving than the Elder Tide on High Isle, but they still don't fully trust us. Yes, I'm aware. Probably has more to do with how developed High Isle has become as compared to Galen. Here, we mainly stick to our corner of the island and give the druids free reign over the rest of it. The Stone Lore are content to live alongside people who don't share their beliefs. They hope to set an example for others to follow, but they make no demands. As for the Fire Song, they're reclusive. They usually stick to their isle and ignore us. My father's knights protect the city and the harbor is well fortified. Besides, I think you chased away the Dreadsails for now. Our scouts report they're nowhere to be seen. But if you're concerned for my safety, don't be. I can fend for myself. I doubt you'll learn much watching druid elders argue among themselves. But if Stefan thinks it's important, then I suppose you should go. As her song <laughs> is heard, waves crash and boil at her feet. This mountain won't bend in defeat. Volcano spirit weaves life, weaves life from her loom. Where fires burst, flowers now bloom. Where earth once cracked. Skies cut through thick smoke's bloom. again. What brings you to the Vine District? I hoped to see you again, my friend. But I need to prepare for the Dreyfa. The Elders really must deal with the strife that has come between the Circles. You know, that's not a bad idea. Few outsiders are permitted to attend the Council meetings. But you can attest to what we saw at Tuin. The Firesong Circle is willing to use force to gather the three sacred seeds. And that's just wrong. The last druid king gave one seed to each circle long ago. He also gave us a prophecy. The dream of Kasserain. Some druids consider it a warning, but Archdruid Orlaith and others believe it's a call to action. Hmm. Meet me at the Telling Stone, the landmark near the center of the island. It would be easier to simply show you the prophecy, and it's close to Dreyfadel. Besides, Free might be there. They will want to see you again. <laughs> 